Now we're going to talk about the mechanism of uh, labral injury and what we used to think about the mechanism of a biceps anchor injury uh, was your arm getting pulled down and too much load going through your long head of biceps and pulling it off. And that can happen with somebody getting their arm yanked out into some direction or um, getting a weight abruptly put onto their arm and pulling them down. But much more commonly in overhead athletes, it relates to their arm getting rotated backwards and forwards. And that always had me a bit confused because if this is essentially a lesion of tension going through the long head of biceps, when my arm's out into this position, my elbow's flexed when I'm throwing, for example, and there shouldn't be terribly much tension going through my biceps. And in fact, in that cocking uh, acceleration phase of throwing, biceps is really quite silent. So how is my biceps pulling my long head of biceps attachment off its attachment here at the superior labrum in throwing athletes. And it turns out it's a different mechanism entirely. So it was Glenn Fleissig's fantastic anatomic and biomechanical work that originally described this. And if you look at the long head of biceps being relatively trapped in the bicipital groove between the adjacent greater and lesser tubercles, as you externally rotate the shoulder, the long head of biceps you can see has to take this sharp right hand turn and in so doing, that sharp right hand turn then places tension, especially at this, the insertion of biceps. And here you can see the long head of biceps is now getting, well, a large amount of tension in this case. But if you're doing this an awful lot of times, uh, you're going to potentially pull the long head of biceps off its attachment. So that's the special category of people who get... Um, biceps labral injuries and we're not going to talk any more about throwers pretty much for, for the remainder of this uh, because we need another couple of hours to do that.